Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher coming to you from Reading Town. Let's take a look at today's article. The title of today's article is Cactus Trivia. So cactus is the plant and we mostly see that in the desert. And trivia is kind of like a question, like a quiz. So cactus trivia, it says, a cactus is a plant that can live in dry environments with little water. So it's a long word, but environment means area or different places. So we know that in the earth, there are many different environments. There are such places like deserts, that's an environment where it's very dry. We also have places like a forest or a rainforest that's very hot and it gets a lot of rain or even a mountain, those are different environments. We live in a city environment where there's a lot of buildings and a lot of people. But where can we find these cactus? We can find them in very dry and hot places. So it says it can live with very little water, so it doesn't need a lot of rain. Uh, its roots are spread out to collect water when it rains. So we can't say the roots because the roots are underneath uh, the soil or the dirt or underneath the ground. And the important thing about cactus, because it lives in places where it gets very little water or rain, the roots are very spread out. So when it does rain, they get to soak up as much of it as possible. So it says um, the water is stored in its body. So when it collects all the rainfall from the roots, it keeps the water in the main part, which is the body. A cactus can be big and tall, while others are tiny and can be stored in pots. So sometimes we have these small cactuses that you can keep at home, but in the wild, in nature, you can see even larger cactuses. So even cactuses that are taller than me. Uh, it says tiny cactuses come in different shapes and produce brightly colored flowers. So produce means make. So some of these very tiny cactuses, you can see that there's a flower on it. Some larger cactuses also can put, uh, make flowers, but the smaller ones make very bright and beautiful flowers. So you can store them in pots and that's what we see uh, in the picture. So they come in different shapes. Some are kind of round, some are kind of skinny, different shapes, but then they can all make brightly colored flowers. The cactus is native to North and South America. So native means it's found in, it's from. So this plant, this cactus, many of them are originally or from the beginning, they were first found in North and South America. So in, a, in North America, when I was driving towards California in Arizona, where it's very dry and hot, I was able to see a lot of different cactuses. Uh, and some of them actually had flowers and some of them were very, very large. So cactuses come in many different colors, many different shapes. Some produce very, very bright flowers. But what do we know? They need very little water because they keep it in their bodies. So this is a cartoon cactus, uh, but it has the same characteristic, right? It has uh, different shapes, just like a real cactus. A cactus is a blank that can live in dry environments. So what is a cactus? Is it an animal? Is it a person? We know that it is a type of plant. So uh, they live in very dry places or environments. A cactus stores what in its bodies? So we know that cactus has sharp thorns, but what does it keep in the inside of the body, not on the outside? So it stores what? So when it gets very little water, it has to keep it, right? It has to store the water in its body. The last question, tiny cactuses can produce brightly what flowers? So we need an adjective, right? So uh, what about the flowers? It's bright what? Brightly colored, that's right. So this cactus, the cartoon cactus, doesn't have flowers on it, but we saw in the previous picture, the picture before, that there are flowers that can grow on cactuses. Let's look at the last part of our comprehension today, and it's choosing the right word. So let's look at the sentence. The spikes, the roots, or the flower of a cactus are spread out to collect rainwater. So spread out means it's, uh, it's spreading out to a larger place. It's all over the place. It's not together. So the roots are underneath the plant and that's the part that collects the water, not the flower and not the spikes. So the roots are spread out all over a cactus. And we said the reason is because the cactus uh, lives in places that's usually dry. So when it does rain, it needs to get all the rain that it possibly can. So the roots spread out. Uh, the B says the cactus is native, is rare, or is common to North and South America. So when we said uh, that you can find it there or it's from there, we know that the correct word is native.
right? So if a person uh, such as the, the Americans who were first in America, we know them now as Indians, but they're also called Native Americans because they were there first or that's where they uh, lived or that's where they can be found. So native uh, is the correct word. And the last part, a small cactus can be stored in a house, a pot or in a tank. Well, usually we put fish in a tank. Uh, in a house, well, there's a lot of things that we can put in a house, but we saw that in the picture, you can keep it in a small bowl or in this case, a small pot. So maybe you guys have a cactus at home. Sometimes, uh, if you're not careful, you might get some spikes on you. But cactus, what did we learn today? They need very little water. And where were they first found? They were first found or they come from North and South America. So I hope that you enjoyed today's lesson and maybe you even seen uh, a bright colored flower growing on a cactus. But then now you know this information and you can share it with your friends. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye everyone.